Hey, as before a I uh, invite uh, maybe 15 seconds from both uh, Mr. Friedman and Ms. Howe, could you also comment on on the testimony here that hasn't really said a whole lot. It was mentioned briefly, but a whole lot about sightings before the 1940s, before the yeah. Second World War. I mean, did we, I know you mentioned that this is, there have been, there have been credible sightings for many, many years before, but we really don't get a whole lot of interest on the part of an administration until the 40s. Now, doesn't that add a little bit of question in terms of whether what we've just been talking about might have been a real concern for, for the number of hearings being held. I can add one thing. What happened in July of 1945, we tested a bomb, White Sands, and then we dropped two in August on Japan. And I believe that that action, which was a nuclear event, became a focus to this intelligence. And therefore, that's how the government became so intensely aware. Yeah. Can, I, can I add? Uh, sure. I, I've done the presidents. I spent a lot of time trying to find stories of UFOs back in history through presidents. It starts in Roosevelt's day. It ties into the atomic bomb. If you go through presidential history, you, presidents are watched very closely. All their records are kept. I can find nothing before... But Roosevelt. But so this is, tied, this is tied into the atomic. Okay, but you're not age. saying, Mr. Cameron, are you, or are any of you saying that uh, President Wilson would have never been interested in phenomena that might involve extraterrestrial? No, I think that the difference is that um, we really only in our own society develop much of a capability of detecting them. I mean, in World War II, we get radar. So we develop electronic means of detection. We, for the first time ever, have a lot of people in the, in the air. So I think in, in earlier times, it's not that this phenomenon didn't happen, but there were fewer stories and not really in front row center of our consciousness. By the end of uh, World War II, there were three things that told our visitors from out there that soon we'd be going out there, which would scare the heck out of them because we're such a primitive society. Atomic bombs, powerful rockets used to kill, not to deliver the mail, as some people said they would and powerful radar, the beginning of the electronics revolution. The only place in the world in July 1947 where you could check out all three of those was southeastern New Mexico, okay. which Thank is where you. Roswell is. <laughs>